Welcome back, everybody. Today we are connecting everything together by path. This is the very beginning of a, a new kind of palette that we're going to be using in this city, I guess. Uh, in fact, it, maybe it isn't the very beginning. I might be, I might be saying a little bit too much. It's not the very beginning. It's sort of in the beginning, nearby the very start of it. So last episode, we built this beautiful little tavern here, which it was a bit of a different build, honestly, for me. I haven't built something like this in a very long time. And I'm loving it. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna return to that at some stage. Have a look inside here. We've got all this room to clear out, all this place to add in a whole bunch of detail, which will it'll happen eventually. But for now, we will we'll step away from it and we'll we'll go ahead and do some other stuff because there is really so much important stuff to get to. It's crazy. So in between this episode and the last episode, of course, I've been doing some very very big work around the world. Did a bit of mining, did a bit of enchanting, and in fact, we've got this super cool diamond sword here with a smite four? I could have sworn that was five. Okay, never mind. I, I was getting pretty excited. I swore it said smite five, but hey, in the end, uh, we will know that. I mean, I might might be showing it right now, because I did record it. Uh, I might very well be showing it right now on the screen. You guys can can tell me if I'm going, going crazy or not on that, but <laughs> that's all right. Uh, so smite five, or smite four, sorry. And uh, a flame sword is, is a pretty neat little sword. I also went on and started breeding a few turtles. And I've picked the eggs up after waiting more than an hour, actually. Look at that. There's there's the eggs over there. I probably could bring them a little bit closer, but I'm not going to rush them too much. Uh, because I was hoping to get ourselves a turtle shell helmet. But sadly, the turtle shell helmet uh, doesn't appear to be a very easy thing to get. Well, not sadly. I, I, I take that back. I'm, I'm all for the challenge. It does take a while. And, and it apparently takes a, a lot more than a while than what you would expect. So I'm kind of happy about that. So here we go. This is what we're doing today because I've, I've, I'm busy doing some stuff relating to what's what we're getting up to in this episode. We're going to be making some very interesting little paths around the place. And a, a lot of people have asked me to do a tutorial on how to make paths. And, and to be completely honest, everyone, it's one of those things where you can cop out so easy and say, every path is a different sort of path, which it, it's true. And in all fairness, that would not be false. But uh, I think I think what we do, well, what we can do is at least give a few little pointers and tips for the paths as well as, uh, as just having a fun time in the world, uh, exploring a bit more of the world. And also today we are, are doing something very, very uh, sad. We are going to be destroying a bit of the, the coral reef, which... I love the biome so much. I just wish there was a way to regenerate it. So hopefully at some stage, as I said in the last episode, we'll be able to regenerate it. But this coral block, man, it, it, they make it so appealing that I can't not, <laughs> that I can't not destroy it. It's, it's a horrible thing. Uh, but also, here we go. This is now going to be connected. How cool is that? And once this is connected, we can start, not today, but very, very soon, we can start with all of the cool... Uh, textures and and stuff to make this place look like its own custom biome, which I, I love to do And if you guys haven't seen custom biomes and stuff, let me tell you this much doing your doing your own thing is So so enjoyable and and trust me. It, it's uh, it's a good time. We'll get there soon enough now Of course, I'm just putting cobblestone in here just to get the shape right We are gonna go and check it out right now from the top before we we lock it in but getting a, a basic block Of course is always a great start and can we get up there? Thank you Quite ironically, my watchtower is becoming less of a watchtower than what this roof is. So, there we go. One thing I can see is to get this a little bit smoother, I probably want to cut that corner and cut that corner there. And we should have a very neat little look. Now, last episode, I did finish all of the... Literally all of the coral that I had. And I think it's about time we go and pay that biome a quick visit. And it's a real pity to see all this stuff go. It really is. But you know what? It's going to be so good when it's in our base. Uh, now, by the way, here, here's the thing. Just before we go any further, of course, we've we've been getting some crazy, crazy cool support on the series so far, just on YouTube. And oh, yeah, that's that. Yeah, I get you. I get you. <laughs> but yeah, we've been getting some crazy cool support just from you guys in the comments and, and just in general on the series. A lot of people watching, a lot of a lot of cool input. And I really do thank you guys, of, of course, for having an input in the world and and changing the way that the series is. It's it's always cool for myself to see things change from my my own point of view at least i i kind of like it so it, it's pretty cool uh but besides that here is here is something else that's that i guess uh this is this is me kind of delegating my area of expertise so what are what oh dang it uh, there we go so we're going to be building a very very cool uh base uh, like an actual base which is something i haven't done 
in a very, very long time. And it's not going to be necessarily a, uh, a, a village. It's not going to necessarily be anything along those lines. It's going to be an actual base. And, and this is something that people did suggest. And I actually, I'm sorry, but I can't actually remember who said it in the comments. But it was, it was a few episodes back. And I was thinking about it. I was thinking, like, well, I, I thought I would do an interesting spawn, which would be... Oh, yep. Eh, that's right. Uh, an interesting spawn that might not be necessarily related to the rest of the world. That will just be a beautiful place to come in. If you guys downloaded the world, you'd be able to spawn in it and, and have a cool little place. But not only that, also making the spawn functional, where, for instance, we'll be able to go ahead and, and use farms in the spawn and, and stuff like that. So here is my, my thought, and this is where you guys can at least... Have, have some different input into this, which is what are the sort of redstone farms or just farms in general? And I'm willing to I'm willing to give my own little spin on redstone in this as well, which is It's gonna be interesting. I'll tell you that much <laughs> It's not like uh, I honestly I think we we're not too bad we, we won't be lost completely with the redstone, but It'll be interesting to see what we come up with here. It definitely won't be the most efficient So it'll be fun to see how we work it in but my whole main point is just how do we what kind of farms should be should we need? I've been thinking about for instance a cactus farm super important and the other thing also to bear in mind I've got this masterful plan man. The dolphin sounds so weird underwater. You can just hear the oh no, no, no you Don't take my stuff dolphin <laughs> Okay, maybe they're a little bit of a pest uh, Yeah, that, that's such a such a cool noise very cool noise, but in the end, give me back my blocks. That's all I want. So my my main thought with it is that I really do not want to be going AFK for long periods of time. I don't want to make farms that are necessarily AFKable. I want the farms to be. Oh, it actually got it. I thought I picked that up. There we go. I want to be able to to be around my farms the majority of the time at doing something. So that's where I was thinking I could maybe do some fishing. I could maybe do something that. Isn't necessarily an AFK cable thing. We can perhaps do stuff like that uh, in in the middle and have a lot of farms activated. So there's my one thought. My next thought is also that I did it just sounded like that broke, right? Ah, oh, it's that. Never mind. It was it was the coral like blocks. The these ones, those. What are they? Do they actually? I've just noticed. Sorry, these over here, these fire coral things. If I break it like that. They don't, but if I break it with Silk Touch, they do go up. Okay, interesting. Th these coral blocks don't necessarily work the way I expected. I'll be completely honest with breaking them, so it's a bit strange. Uh, but now, the, the thing is, besides that, there's also a whole bunch of other stuff that I'd like to do. Of course, having having them all afk -able, but not necessarily being AFK is one important thing, so efficiency would be pretty important. But just also doing some farms, which we might not necessarily think we need, which we, we may very well find handy in the future would be a cool little thing. So, of course, if you guys have got some ideas, let me know. Of course, I'm always always down for it. Uh, the other thing is, a lot of stuff doesn't actually work if you just have it in spawn. As I've discovered in my my time in this game, when I when I thought it would be great to put a, a sugarcane farm at spawn, it really didn't work very well. As in, it, it didn't work at all. It, it They need you around. So that's one other reason why we would need to be around spawn. But uh, let me know what you guys think about that. Now we've got everything that we need to make these paths, hopefully very, very decent. And by decent, I mean fantastic. And by fantastic, I mean very, very good. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep doing that. I just need to figure out something cool with these paths. And I'm not too sure how it's gonna turn out yet. I wanna just give it a go, because I haven't, I haven't played around with these textures all that much, and, and I've, I've generally got a bit of a logical way of doing textures. And the way it goes is that, for instance, I've got my very rough textures being cobble, then gravel, then andesite, then stone. Rough, roughly would be the ones I would normally use on this, but flipping it around a little bit where I'm using something that I've never really used properly, which are these these blocks, and they've, they've got a little bit of red in them. Just, just give it a second. I feel like that's got a, a slightly red tinge to it, and I haven't quite worked out where I sit with them just yet, so this is going to be a little bit of planning, and a little bit of uh, playing around as well. So I'd say probably more messing around with it than than uh, planning. I'll tell you that much. But the idea is that the path the path has got a few fundamental things that make it a very good thing. First thing is uh, its shape, of course. Having an interesting path to follow along is another important one. But having a, a neat shape is is already a large amount of the way to having a good path. The next thing, of course, is is getting the texture right, and that's where it, it becomes tricky because. Just using path blocks, you land up with a Minecraft 
generated village path, and that looks absolutely terrible. So hopefully it won't land up anything like that, and, and I'm pretty, pretty sure we will be all right with that. So let's get also some andesite. That's important. Now, with the paths, there's, as, as I say, there's a few fundamental things. Let's, let's try and try and figure, the, figure them out together. First thing is shape, of course, very important. Now, what was I looking for in here? Come on, Jess. You know what you're looking for. You were looking for andesite. That's it. I forget these things so quickly. Uh, but there we go. We've got it. Don't worry. So wh what I was saying is you've got, for instance, the shape, which is first. Then you've got the texture, and you've also got the interest around it. So for instance, this path over here doesn't have anything interesting with it just yet. I'm actually surprised I broke that. But as soon as it starts heading up this way, we'll also just put a little bit more in here, make it a bit wider. It's going to start getting interesting because we're going to have a, a garden over here. We're going to have stairs going up here. It's just going to start twisting and turning in interesting ways. And I think that's the important part is making sure that they don't all maintain the exact same path and, and start having certain, certain variations in the path of not just texture, but of the path itself. Because that's, that's as far as I can tell, a lot of people just tend to make straight paths, flat paths, and, and also another thing which is, is kind of neat, depending on how your path is, uh, you, could, you could also merge in a bit of the, the natural terrain with it. So for instance, if it's a very dirty path in the, in the middle of a forest, I mean, why, what's saying this can't be a, a grass block in the middle here or a dirt block like that? You know, I mean, what's saying this couldn't be one here now? We'll leave that there, may as well. But that, that's what I'm thinking, at least when I make my paths, is just the, the shape and the, the texture and, and everything have to come together completely before you can actually say you've got a neat, a neat enough path. So how's that looking? Yeah, that's cool. And now, now this is where we start getting into things that I really can't explain. <laughs> just, just whatever feels right with this, and then you, you go back, go forward, and, and try and see what's happening. I think, I think that's the way to do it. Uh, another thing, this is, this is just a, su a suggestion I get pretty often. People always tell me to do these sorts of things, and, and I've seen a lot of people who do them where they go uh, in a block. I, I just, for me, it's, it's one of those things that I've just never been a fan of, going down a block, or even with stairs. A lot of people just say, well, then use stairs. I, I get where people are getting with it. I just, it's, it's not a, a thing I like. I, I can't explain it any further than that. I just, I'm not a big fan of it. So actually, let's, let's get a bit of the yellow in there. There we go. It, it feels really wrong just placing those blocks, but there we go. That looks way better. We've got a few things which we'll work on there. So let's let's have a look when we step back here. I'm actually planning on doing this dock out in in other other directions there. So we'll we'll work with that eventually. But for now, we're just trying to get this right. So can I just get these in here? Don't want to make them super super similar, but we'll work it out in the end. So something like that. Okay, here is where a bit of Bit of this will work, and I'm I'm not I'm not upset if we go too tall with this, where we go very steep. There, yeah, that'll work. And now we should be able to walk up without any any real troubles. In fact, now we should be able to walk up with any real troubles. So let's check: is there any point where we have to jump to get up a block? No, that's exactly what I want. I like it when you can walk through the paths. So let's check this out. Go back. In fact, I've actually got something really great to show you guys. Look at this. Since we've built the uh, the last building, which is just behind us, the the tavern, I was, I was approaching this actually during the evening over here. So the sun was going down behind it. You could see the silhouette of the village. And man, it was looking so, so good. So let's just flip around. And look at that. You can see the, the tower on that side over there. We've got the two new places here. Picture all this built up. It's it's going to be a, a, a very good looking town. Just and and as I say, through through help of from you guys with me over here and and what I've been doing. So I'm very very excited to see what this thing turns out to. And also another little thing is that over there, being the the red, uh, the red coral, which is what the fire fire coral block. Super exciting. Uh, that over there, I think, is looking like a pretty cool bark if you ask me, for, for some trees. So I'm, I'm going to give that a try at some stage. But I think it could look very good as a, a very well-textured bark block. Look at that. We're not even close to done with this thing. It's just it's starting to come together very, very nicely. That's just the texturing, just coming through here. And it, it's a very messy style for myself, I've got to admit. But it's, it's starting to turn out. I think I think it's getting there. Right, one thing I was thinking of doing was just a little bit of a garden. And I was I was debating on what I want to use, which, which trapdoors I want to use just to separate this. But... No, we'll, we'll stick with the oak. And I want to get this area here where, where it all starts pulling together connected. 
I really do. So let's get rid of these. And of course, I did not use Silk Touch, and this is getting stupidly low, so <laughs> that was a smart thing to do. Uh, but what I want to do here is I want to just get this wall looking a little bit more presentable. So, Villager, you'll have to excuse me, uh, and please don't jump in my way, Villager. That's, that's actually been my, <laughs> the, the thing that's been slowing me the, down the most in this, in this part of the world has been the villagers jumping in my way. And I've got to wait a few minutes for them to, look, to do that. Just, just wait and wait and wait. Actually, this should be down here. So, you're not actually inconveniencing me, villager. You're me more inconveniencing you <laughs> yourself. Can I get in there? Beautiful. Very rarely does that actually work. So, here we go. This is what I'm thinking. If we could do something like this and have an interesting staircase going up here. Can I get that piece? Of course I can. What's going on here? Okay, there we go. That's interesting. Uh, now, let's get that gone and get some railings in. And here is what I'm thinking. If we can get a nice little railing that'll merge this in with this, I think that will work very, very well. So, railing, railing. Let's check this out from a distance. Yeah, that's kind of neat. This block here, however, I think needs to be of another variety. We'll maybe drop in a bit of the horn coral block in there. How's that looking? Please change. Yeah, it's a little bit messy, I'll, I'll completely admit, but as soon as this starts to come together, it'll start to come together. I think that's the thing. We have to just think of the bigger picture in this place. So let's get a, let's get this area all completely filled out. And villager, you really, is this the librarian cartographer? You're actually kind of a, uh, <laughs> really, there's the librarian. All right. I was going to say, you're, you're not really that necessary, but this guy is. So, I guess, I guess you can stay. But there we go, we'll get those out the way and put in one of those. And like that, it starts to come together, you see? This is what I say, when you just hold together for a little bit, you think something doesn't work, put them together, and that starts to work. I think that's looking very, very good. In fact, what I do want to do is go out a little bit more this way, I think it is. Yes, I can see. We've got some extra flowers, which I haven't yet gone and picked up, so... You, and uh, yeah, we're gonna see all the recipes being unlocked. Orange dye, please. And I think I had some more somewhere around this way. Let's just jump up this way and see there. All right, so pro jump in. No, not quite. That's all right. I just want a bit of the pink, a bit of the white and the red as well, which we don't have space for. Oh, okay, that's a pity. We'll, we'll come back for them. If not, it's all right. It's not a big deal if we lose him. Not a very big deal. I think there's a, a flower forest that's just on the other side of this, if I remember correctly. So it's not a not a horrible thing. And in fact, I wouldn't mind paying a, a visit to that forest sometime soon because it, it they they do they do tend to be very good trips just to get a little bit of color in your place. Also, I also really want to redo this well. <laughs> there's so much stuff in this world that needs to be worked on. Wonderful. And also, by the way, here I've I've gone ahead and put in a little garden as well. So it's all starting to turn out very, very good. I'm loving it. Look at this. I've got, I've got everyone down here. This place is, this place is booming right now. Uh, but for today, I think we'll go ahead and call that an episode. It looks like these guys are getting a little bit restless. Uh, so in the next episode, I've got a very cool little build plan for you guys. I think, I think it's going to be cool because it's, it's a, uh, think of it this way. It's, it's a precursor to what we are going to see something done like a lot bigger. <laughs> so, uh, prepare yourselves. Besides that, it's been suggested a, a lot of times in the comments. You guys can guess what it is. But either way, thank you so much for joining me here today, guys. I have had a great time so far. Still having a great time in this world. And I'll see you very, very shortly.